Rangers and Celtic have to settle for a share of the points in a tough Ibrox battle. That's also the story at Easter Road with Henry Smith defying Hibernian. And Liz McCogan adds sparkle to the great Scottish run in Glasgow. Good afternoon, and in addition to these top events, we have our usual exclusive coverage of all the rest of the weekend's Premier Division football, plus Morton against St Mirren from the First Division, and a report on Clyde's match against East Fife. Hibs fans don't need reminding that their team haven't beaten Hearts in the league since January 1989. Yesterday, they had another chance to end that dismal sequence, but once again, some great goalkeeping thwarted their every effort. Commentator Jerry McNee. Hibs go into an important match with John Burridge restored in goal and defender Tommy McIntyre back in the starting lineup after injury, a player who can grab goals from set pieces. As expected, skipper Murdo McLeod has failed to recover from the injury he sustained at Falkirk last Saturday. One man who can help the Easter Road team recover from their poor start is midfielder Brian Hamilton, who was a major influence in the side last season and who has played in all six games to date this season. There's the Hearts lineup, which manager Joe Jordan had to delay because of fitness tests involving Peter van de Ven, Scott Crabbe and Derek Ferguson. All three have made it, with Crabbe on the bench. Well, Hibs don't need telling that the player they must shackle this afternoon is John Robertson, who has so often put them to the sword in this fixture with a record 18 goals. The referee is David Syme from Rutherford. So it's Hearts who get the 49th Premier League meeting between these sides underway. Hearts have won 18, Hibs have won 9 with 21 drawn. And if you take all league matches, including wartime league games, back all the way to 1895, this is the 205th meeting between the clubs. Hearts won that first game, incidentally, at Tang Castle 97 years ago by four goals to three. The overall record is Hearts 89 victories and Hibs 58. But of course, that's history, and what matters is the outcome here this afternoon. Hibs go into the match under pressure after their start to the season. Hearts, in fact, would be defending an unbeaten run had it not been for Craig Levine's unfortunate own goal against Celtic on the opening day of the season. And out for an early throw to Hibernian. Well, two Hearts players colliding. Cost McKinley and Alan McLaren still play going on. McKinley is still in the ground. McLaren has recovered. Evans sending in the high one and Keith Wright getting in the head up. Well, Gareth Evans putting the ball in from the right and there was Keith Wright. But still the Hearts player on the ground. Henry Smith there handling the ball well from right. Cost McKinley obviously suffering. But here is the incident that began with that throw in from Willie Miller and the two Hearts players colliding as they made the challenge on Darren Jackson. So happily for Hearts, Cost McKinley has recovered and uh, Alan McLaren looks none the worse. So an anxious moment for Joe Jordan. Jackson, good play by Hibbs. He's right racing forward. Well read though by Peter Van de Van. He gives it away. Well, you can already see in this game that uh, it's going to be a busy afternoon for the, the referee. Some hefty challenges going in. And Mr. Syme will have his work cut out for him. So Graham Mitchell it is with the free kick for Hibernian. Darren Jackson! Oh, a terrific save by Henry Smith. Oh, Darren Jackson coming so close to his first goal for Hibernian. Great leap there, and what a save from Smith. So it's Weir with the corner. Levine getting a touch. And no real power in Brian Hamilton's shot. Smith with the kick up the Easter Road slope. Good play by McIntyre, now it's Miller. Again, it's in for Jackson. 
the Hibs fans claiming that it's a penalty kick. Peter van de Van concedes the penalty kick. He took Gareth Evans right out of the play. Well, the Hibernian fans were already screaming for a penalty after the initial challenge. And there's no doubt about this one. The player was inside the box and the referee had no hesitation in pointing to the spot. So Van de Van, who's just come back into the side after injury, gives away the penalty. Oh, Henry Smith does it again. That is magnificent goalkeeping. Well, Brian Hamilton hit the kick with plenty of power, but Smith, well, two tremendous saves in the opening stages. So it's Weir with the corner, and well held again by Henry Smith. Well, he's made over 600 appearances now for Hearts, 214 shutouts so far, and of course was involved in Scotland's European Championship squad. Toss McKinley. John Robertson chasing through. Robertson for Hearts. Well, they're surely clinched for a penalty kick for the referee running away. Well, the challenge went in from Neil Ark. That could easily have been a penalty kick, but David Syme decided to turn away. Robertson had opened up a gap. Well, not a lot in it. That's Van de Ven again. He's immediately pressured. He steps Hamilton for hits. Billy Miller. And McLaren has to concede the throw in. Darren Jackson. Weir. Jackson again. Being shattered by Levine. Well, Hibs fans again roaring for the penalty, but uh, I think that was more accidental than anything else. Billy Miller. Right across goal, it comes Keith Wright and another terrific save by Henry Smith. Well, the goalkeeper came racing from his line and he really had to. The ball coming right across the face of goal from Willie Miller. Wright was clear through in goal. Peter van der Ven. Robertson. In steps Hamilton for Hibs. Now it's Mitchell. To McGinley, Evans, good build up by Hibbs. Darren Jackson's there, caught the offside flag, had been up. Well, the flag was up before the player made contact with the ball. Well, it certainly hasn't been Darren Jackson's afternoon so far, but certainly the ball's being whipped in from that side of the field, they're causing problems for Hearts. Mickey Weir for Hibbs. Jackson does well against McKinley. Still Jackson. The Smiths lost it here. And Jackson and Evans get in one another's way. Well, Henry Smith, who performed so well, really lost it there. Seems to have held the ball, lost it then. Gareth Evans made the challenge. The two hips players getting into a bit of a tangle and the chance was lost. And, uh, if they can keep up this pace, it's Gary Mackay now for Hearts. Little stumble, he recovers, he plays it to Robertson. Beard's in there, and the ball went into the side netting. Well, despite the fact uh, Beard had a uh, Hibs defender on either side of him, it was Robertson who whipped the ball through, and Beard got the touch into the side netting. It's Robertson laying it off to Derek Ferguson, a high one now for Beard. Weir's back helping in defence. The ball breaks to Toss McKinley. It's Mofflin. Ferguson to Robertson. Baird. Cleared by Weir. Picked up now by Evans. Hamilton. Playing it into the space for Darren Jackson to chase. So we're now well into injury time in this first half. have the throw in, in fact the referee blows the half time whistle so lots of applause from the Hibernian fans, certainly Hibs made the lion's share of chances 
the half time score here at Easter Road Hibernian nil, Hearts nil. Lovely start. Going nice and wide so as not to spook him. Oh, that was poetry. Got a good lift there. Now then, what's going on here? <laughs> There's a turn up for the books, Woodstain. I didn't know Dulux made that. Just look at the way he's covering the ground there. Effortless. Move on. He's only got one gate to go and surely... Yes, he's finished. Absolutely perfect finish. Four marks right across the board. Blue skies, blazing sun. Solution, dark glasses. Hi, come on, it's better in the sun. Little twist to run so fast, he's a Cuban rocket. I wonder where these batteries are, perhaps they're in his pocket. GFT and these letters, they make me want to sigh. Couples have a problem, perhaps I should drop back in the sun. In the sun, let's have a better in the sun. In the sun, in the sun. How do they get the stories? The stars are about to cry. We get them from the people who are on the inside. I'm at the Euro Summit, it really is a bore. So I get the lads a laugh by kissing Tag de Lore. In the sun, in the sun. Let's have a better in the sun. In the sun, in the sun. In the sun. Get the second half underway. And the crowd, noisy crowd here this afternoon, settling down after the interval. The record crowd uh, against Hearts here was back in 1950, 65,860 uh, when Hoops were winning championships. But nowadays the capacity are more modest, uh, just over 20,000. As Robertson picks up the play for Hearts, finds Foster. Good play by Foster. Oh, and a fine shot too. Excellent play by Foster, taking on several defenders. And finding the opening for a shot, which was well taken by Burridge. Right. Evans, a oh, late tackle there by Levine, and he'll be booked for that. Craig Levine called over by the referee and the yellow card shown to the Hearts defender. He can have absolutely no complaints. And in fact, uh, he had 11 yellow cards last season. Craig Levine, which was second only to John Hughes of Falkirk, who had uh, 13. That's Levine's second booking of the season. So Mitchell firing in the free kick. Levine getting the touch. Wright's in there. Henry Smith, that full stretch, and he does well to push it behind for the corner kick. Brought down to right to just try to knock it over the goalkeeper, but uh, Smith watched it carefully all the way. That's Mitchell stepping in for hoops, through to right. Mitchell does well, getting away from Mocklin. Gareth Evans is there with the header. Well, if he could have got that back across goal, Darren Jackson was waiting in the middle. But uh, Mitchell did extremely well to get away from Mocklin in a very tight situation. The ball played right across the face of goal. There was Evans, maybe Jackson just inside him. Jackson against Levine. Van de Venten behind him, Mickey Weir running through the middle. Oh, tremendous run by Weir, he must score! Smith has done it again! Weir 
I just cannot believe it. It was a tremendous break out by Hibbs, a great run through the middle by Weir. It seems certain he would score, but then you should never say that when Henry Smith's in goal. But Weir with the corner, headed clear by Levine, only as far as Gareth Evans. Players on side, the chance is on for McIntyre, but handball. Well, the, the two hips players, Darren Jackson and McIntyre, were both on side, but the hand was used and the chance was lost. And an arm used, arm and hand used by McIntyre to control the ball. Van de Van for Hots. Headed away by Milne, a touch on by Weir, a turn by Hogg. Cal Milne's in there again for Hibbs. Challenged by Baird, that'll be a, a booking for Baird. So he becomes the third Hearts player booked this afternoon. Levine, Derek Ferguson and now Ian Baird. And uh, both Weir and Mitchell of Hibbs have also been shown the yellow card. So Mr Syme, who showed a lot of patience, has had to show the yellow card now on five occasions. Evans climbing for it, holds off the challenge of Mocklin. He does need some support though. In comes Weir for Hibbs. And Van de Ven it was who blocked him for the corner kick. Well, this could be the last chance for Hibbs. Weir fires it in. Away by Levine, only as far as Evans. Back it goes to Weir, takes a deflection, headed away by Tosh McKinley, Evans has it again, he plays it to Orr, and there goes the final whistle. Well, again played at tremendous pace, and there's the man who kept out to Bernie in all afternoon, he takes the salute of his own supporters. The final score here at Easter Road, Bernie nil, Hearts nil. That was a fair onslaught from Hibbs in the opening 15 minutes. That's right. I think we we uh, contributed that to coming out and half-hearted, uh, not really get us mind in the games, sloppy at the back, and we nearly paid for it. Uh, but, you know, I was on my toes, good save early doors, get my eye in and uh, just take it from there. Overall, you must have been pleased with your own performance. Yeah, I'm delighted. Uh, a lot of team are not playing the way we want them to play, the way we, we should be playing at the moment. Uh, but we'll get there in the end. Uh, we're not losing, uh, is the main thing. And at the end of the day, we'll, we'll get it right. Darren, I think it's fair to say it was uh, an afternoon of frustration for you. Oh, definitely. Um, we came out, we had to get our pride back after um, a couple of results we've had. And I think we've done that today. And we took the game to hearts and I think um, we, got, we, we didn't get what we deserved. I thought we deserved the two points. You must have been confident uh, when you struck that header that it was uh, heading for the back of the net. Yeah, I, I did thought, I think it was in, um, but it was a great save for Henry and um, he had a great afternoon. Have you found it difficult settling in at your new club? Uh, not really. Um, the boys have been great, the fans have been good and that. I mean, there's no problems, it's just getting a goal, that's the problem. But um, I'm still making chances, so I think they'll come soon. Jerry Gordon, had it not been for Henry Smith, Hibbs would have run out comfortable winners, wouldn't well, they? Well, there's no doubt about that. They denied him at least four occasions. But uh, I think Henry likes the cameras. He always turns on a show for us. <laughs> as early as six minutes. I mean, a marvellous save. This really set the tone for the afternoon. Great save from, from Darren Jackson. And they just went from strength to strength with the goalkeeper. Yeah, I think it's one of the, certainly the best goalkeeping performances I've seen in quite some time. I mean, this save from Brian Hamilton's uh, penalty was just... I think he moved just... the other garden, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I let him away with that, but I mean, Brian Hamilton hit it, hit it well. And just this whole game, because I mean, as, as, as you rightly say, I mean, he was the, the main reason um, Hearts salvaged the point yesterday in a game that Hibs thoroughly deserved to win. I mean, that was terrific goalkeeping there, and brave goalkeeping as well. And this is the last few minutes of the game, good experience goalkeeping here comes out, narrows the angle and spreads himself and stops Mickey Weir getting the winner.
There's actually a good story, Jim, about uh, the penalty save. I asked Henry after the match if he'd done any homework. He said he didn't have to. It's here in the Hibs programme. <laughs> the last time Hamilton uh, scored from the penalty spot against Wraith Rovers a few weeks ago, there he is. He puts the ball up in that same spot, and Henry said, I just went there. <laughs> so, uh, As you say, his homework was done for him. What about uh, Wright and Jackson? I mean, you know, how long will Alec Miller's patience last here with these two? Because they're working hard, but they're not scoring. Well, the goals aren't coming, that, that, that's for sure. In fact, the goals uh, dried up in Keith Wright towards the end of last season. I think the last nine games he failed to score. But he, he made chances yesterday. He's got to keep plugging away. And you've got to give a new partnership time to settle. I think these two players will be a success. I think it's fair to say as well, Gordon, that Gareth Evans is showing out a fair bit of form. He played particularly well yesterday, but I think... Um I don't think there's any question that Keith Wright and Darren Jackson will score goals eventually. And I mean, although they never got on the score sheet yesterday thanks to Henry Smith, I'm quite sure that Alec Miller was happy with their performances. Graham Mitchell put in a solid performance, didn't he? He took over the captaincy uh, from Murdoch McLeod and he certainly responded. He was very decisive in the tackle and uh, he also showed his qualities going forward yesterday. He had a, a good performance. Very competitive as well, as you can see from this tackle. Great commitment from a player that's... Um, doesn't really get the credit he deserves, I feel. Mm. Works very up a nice, on. Yeah, it's set up a nice attack here, and he's quick as well. There's not many people get past him. And he's involved in a lovely little move here going forward. Just nips it around the Hearts defender and floats a lovely cross to the back post. Well, it got wasted with.